Marie here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at part three of the fertility series where you're going to learn the process of it, what it means to me, and perhaps talk about what it means to you. Hope you enjoy. Keep watching. So here is fertility. Uh, looking amazing. If you hear, if you can't see a little bit more. So I had an amazing, amazing time creating this piece of work, and I hope you also enjoyed watching the process. Um, I had two other videos, if you haven't seen them, go to my channel. There's part one where you see the creation of just the portrait drawing, and then part two is actually my add-ons, which I kind of like to say, which is more of the painting mechanism. So let's just dive into it. When I was drawing myself, for some reason, I kept thinking of a rabbit. And because for me, when I was thinking of this image, it brought up innocence. It had this look of innocence and just awe and a little bit of nervousness. And I think of rabbits. I think rabbits are beautiful representations of innocence. I, you see them around springtime when things are blooming and growing. Um, and they're also known as fertility. And the word fertility, I was really nervous to kind of label as my piece, but I was happy I did because fertility also went to another aspect of what this piece means to me. So fertility is something that really resonates with me because it is something deep within that's been molding and creating and just been taking a lot of time to be what it is and it's going, coming to fruition. So I believe there's something in me spiritually um, that's growing that provides more of a confidence and that is being able to produce more work that's representation of who I am and the reason why I say fertility instead of growth is because fertility means it takes a while a lot goes into it you know there's a lot of um, physical differences mental emotional differences that happen and that is my journey and this whole channel is about watching me a beginner young artist grow into something or manifest or produce or reproduce what it is that has been in me all along um so to kind of move on into the other elements of how this comes more into fertility and what these symbols mean so like i said the rabbit is there to represent innocence and also the idea of fertility that there's something there but also growth in um, springtime where everything's kind of new and kind of protectiveness if you look at the rabbit really closely um, its eye should kind of be looking where it's facing but it's not it's looking at the viewer and I love that because I also added these two cute little bunnies um, on the bottom of her and I love that because we can be so protective of what we produce I'm really protective and kind of like <clears throat> when it comes to my art and putting it out there, you know, and kind of being protected of that because that's mine, right? That's something I have been creating inside me forever and it's, now it's out there to share with you. Um, so kind of the bunny or the rabbit, she's like, these are my babies. You can see them, but they're mine. And again, kind of gets protected with that. So that's part of the rabbit aspect uh, and then moving into the crystals so honestly they were supposed to be rose quartz uh because rose quartz is all about love and self-love and romantic love and that was the goal and then i just love how the process just took it over and was like nope it's gonna be amethyst and amethyst is also one of my favorite crystals i am someone who loves crystals not much knowledgeable in them but know enough to kind of get by with the crystals I have and I just love purple so it, it, that kind of adds into it but I really love how amethyst was in there and I'm just going to share with you a couple of the properties and the meanings that amethyst has so first off amethyst is a good representation and focuses on the sixth and seventh chakras and your sixth is your third eye seventh being the crown reaching to that divine and I thought that was quite interesting 
because coming from someone that my chakra imbalances, you know, um, with my root being messed up in the beginning, going right into my head and my six, still kind of struggle in there. But I've always been really connected with my papa, uh, my God, my creator, my spirit, whatever it is that you like to say, universe. Um, that was really kind of interesting how that really kind of brought up into that. Um, it brings it across spiritual awareness, which again, like I said, I feel like something in my spirit is coming out more. Um, perhaps my solar plexus is going to be healed, hopefully, <laughs> or my throat, I don't know. Um, but that's becoming more in my artwork and I'm able to have a spiritual journey with my art. I know this one's crazy, but it's really real and it's how I connect with my papa. Um, what's really cool too is that Amethyst is known for healing the body, the mind, and the spirit. So something that needs to happen a lot for me um, in my journey. It increases positive transformation, brings about balance, it relieves stress, which I am a stress person. My husband thinks I'm going to die young because I stress so much. Uh, so I should always keep Amethyst with me and just keep with prayer. Uh, but I thought that was really cool because, again, back to the image of me just looking off, as my husband says, it brings about a little bit of nerves. And having that amethyst right there being a good representation of God wants us to be unshaken. You know, like, we can't be unshaken. We have a strong foundation. Uh, and just, just be. You could just be. It also brings about inner peace and healing. And I think that's super, super good. And I'm going to talk more about the inner peace and healing parts later after this part. I, again, going back to this, you know, having the rabbit, the amethyst, and the portrait. I was like, this is looking awesome. But then here comes the process part. Another process part is as I was doing the rabbit and as I was doing the crystals, I was like, okay, this looks amazing but the tension wasn't really on the person and I really wanted you to look at the face because the face has so much meaning in it and so I decided well let's do some daisies I don't really know anything much about daisies I'm again I'm kind of someone that just flows with things and things bring up to my mind um, but daisies again for me they're one of my favorite flowers and they are so dainty looking but super and innocent, but super beautiful and can withstand a lot. And I didn't even know this, but I have seven of them. And seven is also another holy or sacred number. And I thought that was just amazingly cool. And it just really brings, again, this whole idea of something's uprooting. Something is growing within. Something is blooming. And that's also what I really liked is that if you really look closely, and I did intentionally do this, is the stems are a little bit more thicker and out of proportion towards the head of the flower. The daisy, is the head of it is more small. And I did that on purpose because, again, I'm an artist, I can do what I want with my stuff with the idea that you should also be smart with it, but whatever. Um, I wanted to know like the root of things, the growth of this is the foundation and that's what's happening first, then the blooming will happen. It's still there, I'm still blooming, but it's not to the full extent is perhaps a regular daisy would look like. But I, I personally like that. And to also talk, um, again, if you are an artist, that gets nervous to share your work, talk about your work. I completely understand you and I just want to tell you that do it on your own time. I don't want to push this on you and be like, you need to start doing it now. No, 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 like you do it on your own time. I just decided to be a little bit more direct to myself and a little bit out there with filming my journey. You know, I didn't want to wait until I was like this like, super successful artist, like I wanted you to see, I want you to see how amateur I am. I want you to see how I'm growing and that, yeah, my painting skills aren't as where my drawing skills are, but I like it where it's at right now. I want this channel to be for young artists to feel supported and not alone and to stop with the perfectionism. I'm someone who perfects all the time and it needs to stop. So if you are an artist out there, Keep working, you're doing amazing, just know that. And if you are someone that 
just loves to look at art thank you for watching thank you for looking like that really supports us as artists and if you never really knew how to look at art i hope this really helped you with understanding how to kind of look at little aspects of things and how it brings together and then again just so you know if you have your own version or your own message if this if this piece of work has its own message to you you're right okay art is not just one and all be all this is what it means to me and actually if you're willing to share i would love if you could share in the comments below what this piece means to you or what you got from this piece and if you didn't get anything then that's okay and i would also like to uh, just bring attention to the word fertility for a moment and i just want to just end in prayer and with emphasis on the word fertility and so papa i just ask that that word if it is a trigger in any way like a positive trigger or a negative trigger for someone that idea of fertility I say you be with that person and I ask that you would provide inner peace and inner healing and I ask that your will be done and that shame be broken off and that new growth would happen and Papa I also ask that you would just instill a beautiful foundation of what it looks like to be secure, to be healed internally, to have peace within us. And Papa, I also ask that you would just nurture everyone in a time and place right now, and that you would just give ultimate reassurance. So, Thank you again for joining me on the part three series of fertility. Stay tuned because there will be other videos, of course, and I would love to say I have some really, really cool projects in store, especially an art competition I'm joining, which will include my pets, my two huskies. So if you are interested, stay tuned. I will have another series come about, um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you really liked it, like. Uh, this video subscribe to my channel and also share in the comments what you think about this piece I would love to know and just keep being strong keep being wise and You're doing great. You're awesome. Peace